Howdy ho guys and gals, welcome back to the Den of Tools. You know what we got in stock. We got the Tough Belt stack here. Thanks to Tough Belt for sending this over. They saw our video when we broke the news about this. And they said, you know what, we, we want you to get hands on with this. So they sent this thing over. And uh, we're going to put it through the paces. So let me, you know what, let, let, we're going to talk everything about the accessories and everything else at the end. I got pricing for you. It's launching today at Lowe's on sale even. So I'm going to have all that details, but let's get hands on with it first so you can see what we're really talking about. Here it is, the tough built stack we talked about. Boy, this is this is what we're going to probably be seeing at or around launch. We've got a bag, a compact organizer, what I can only describe as an ammo box, a big organizer, toolbox, tool crate, large toolbox, and the rolling toolbox. Let's break it down and take a look at it and see what all you got. From the side, is here's what you see. Nice little fold-out handles. Uh, there's the wheels down there. Let's see if we can pivot this thing around. We got the accessory rail kit down here. This is metal. Bolts on. You can see you got screw points there for accessing it. On the back here, we can see the handle. Though this is an extending handle. Push down like that. Pull it up. Again, I have to press it again. Lift up. I can do it one hand, just like that. It has a little bit of flex in it, which is, you know, now this part here is metal. This is plastic, that's plastic, plastic. There's probably metal inside, there's metal down here. So again, it's a combination. You're only gonna get so much clearance on this. Now down here, we got a clip and a clip. And we're gonna show you that here in just a minute. Make sure I don't get my finger in there. And then let me look at the, the hinge points on these. We got metal here, metal through there. On the other side, we can come down here again. We got the handles to come out, fold in. This is the crate right here. So it's got a handle on the inside like that. Again, we got the full accessory rail on the front, on the back, on all four corners. In fact, let's move this around. So we've got full size boxes. That's the rolling box. That's the large box. We got the crate right here in the center, which I like because on a lot of these boxes, the crates, let me get some of this here. The crates have to be on top. You can't stick something on the crate. This one, no problem. You put it right on top of the crate. Uh, but look up here. So this is a half box, half box, half box. But on this half box, it even has the accessory rail on both sides, even on the half box. I like that. Okay, let's start breaking this dang thing down. Now the latch points, this is the big one everyone likes. So you got unlock right there okay once you unlock it it goes into a reset right here and then once you set it down it locks again that is <laughs> you're pretty good locked all right all right first we're going to take a look at the rolling toolbox this is a, we call it the base box everything else here's the thing with these that it's all about the stacking here and you've got uh, these are not latch points a lot of people think these are latch points down here these little nubs they're activation points. I'm gonna show you later, but here's where the box latches. And again, there's a point just like that on the front. So they're latched two spots, front and back. Nice wide locking points. Again, these points just here just activate it. You got basically two sides, it's divided into two sides. Recessed lip, so it sits down in it. Also good, so if you're just using it, you're taking some of the part, you can throw you know, bolts and screws and stuff in here. It's not gonna roll off somewhere else. But let's get into the box, see what it has. All right, first on, opening the box, and it's gonna fall over, let me grab my hand. So I can open it, it locks into place. Now that is fully open. There's no struts or anything else needed. It just locks into place. And yes, the handle is right behind there. This is a big box. Deep, deep box, okay? Uh, now it does also come with a little tray here. So the tray sits down in here. It doesn't slide, it has these little points here. It keeps it from sliding from side to side. I kind of wish it would slide so I could, if I had something here, I could just slide it out of the way, grab that. You actually have to lift it over. It's not a big deal. It's just a little thing. Nice tray, good size tray, nice and solid. All right. But not much else to see down there. It's a box. We got now the box lid. We got a rubber gasket as part of that weather water rating here thing and dust and whatnot. So we lock it down, come down here, and it latches very ammo box style, okay? 
comes up, clips. Nice big wide latch. I mean, look at it. That is fair to my hand. That's that's a huge latch. Huge latch. There's, I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. All right, I got it up off the ground so we can pivot around and take a look at everything. We already showed you the handle. Here's the other thing. If you're going to put this in a, a truck with a, a tonneau cover, something like that, you might not want the handle on it. So you flip these up here, and then this comes straight out. All right, and then as far as putting it back in, just line it up, slide it back down in, press it all the Kind of hard to do one-handed. <laughs> there we go. And then you're all set and ready to go there. And again, the uh, that's the lock for the handle. Nice, robust. Let's look at the wheels. Rubber rubber wheels, honeycomb on the back. No air. They look like air, but I mean, those are nice, aggressive treads. I don't know why you need treads like that, but they look good. Spin pretty good. Low resistance. Now, I know some of you are going to ask, what about camber? There was a video about an early pre-production unit where the wheels kind of cambered in. We'll take a look at it. I, I asked the rep that I was talking to, and he said this is a production model. So we will test it and find out. Also, I want to point out, this is the bottom box. Even here, even at the back, we've got the little accessory mounting point. we got side handles as well for lifting it. Solid bottom box. All right, that's the bottom box. Let's talk about the large toolbox. That's it. That's latched in. That's not going anywhere. All right, again, this is basically just a slightly smaller version of the other box. We got the accessory rail in all four corners. We have the giant latches. I really like these latches. Now, they are plastic, but they're so big, heavy duty, the, the hinge is metal. Good contact points. Again, you got your four uh latch points here you got the activation points for the latches let me pull it in here we open it up now this one does not lock into place like the bottom box does it has its own little tray also but i just wanted to test here this is the tray from the bottom box if i wanted to put it in here exact same tray i can now have two in there so we can take that up they stack on top of each other they look at they stack on top of each other of course you can't close it but they do stack so let's just take that out of there for now Take a look in here. We got a brochure in there. Get that out of there. Again, nice big box. You got a set. I'm guessing you could put some sort of divider in here and divide this into two parts. All right. Again, look at this. This is metal right around here. Look at that. Metal front lip on that. Of course, we got the rubber plastic insert. These really tough, resistant boxes. Helps if I actually get it on there. There we go. And again, we got the side handles on this. We got latch point system on all four corners. All right, next box. This is the basic toolbox. I like to call them the briefcase style boxes. And again, I just want to see this. Again, there's three points on this. There's unlocked, ready to lock, and locked. And again, what happens is these little points here go in to there and they trip that little thing and then these latches pop out like the latch back here so the back goes in and that's it i mean it's that, that simple now tough build isn't the only one to do quick latch systems craftsman's pro stack has that as well but it's not as elegant or as tough a solution as this one again this is a briefcase box it's essentially the same as the large toolbox just smaller but now you get these little inserts in here. Oh, there's two layers of them. Look at that. We got this. Let's see if I can open this one handed. I guess I got to turn it on its side to do that. There we go. We got a nice little tray. That's as far as that opens. We got dividers in there for that. So you can partition it or not partition it however you like. All right. Let me close that up. This is kind of a live edge on this. Not my favorite thing, but you know, it works. And then here's your basic tray down here. And these, these dividers come out as well. Not a super deep box, but that's not what this one's designed for. So 
So you get four of these, two on either side. Again, all the standard points we talked about before. Come down here, close that up like that. Now, something I didn't mention all these have is a locking point. And on, on these boxes, the locking point is right here. That's where you can put a padlock, comes through, locks like that. And it's got it on all of them. This box again, we got mounting points on all four corners. Of course, that tracks all the way up and down the box. And this is going to be your basic tower system as we call it. That's gonna be the basic box that I think is gonna go on sale for $200 right now. All right, so you wanna go higher. There we go. This is the organizer box. Essentially the same system here as the toolbox, but in an organizer, clear lid so you can see what's in it. Same latching system. Of course, this is the same. Access points on the side are the same. Locking points are the same. All that is identical. But now we've got a clear organizer on top. We lift this up. Again, it just sits in place. It doesn't lock. Get the sales material out of here. Now we got a bunch of storage. We got these tubs. Look at these. These are nice. Nice, big, solid. See how stackable they are. They, they will stack on themselves like that. Um, let's get these out of here for right now. I'm trying not to be super gentle with these things because I want, if it's going to break, I want to know it's going to break. So now here we got a divider that comes in here. This can come out and it comes into little pieces here. And now the rest of this, you can see the box there, same gasket, same metal trim on the front of it. Look at that. I want to talk about stickers real quick because this thing is coated in stickers. Uh, one of my viewers said that somebody else that he saw who reviewed this box says that when they pulled it off, there was a ton of glue residue. So let's try. I just pulled up this corner here so we can do it. Let's see how much residue we get. Well. I'm not seeing any residue. Uh, if I do get residue on some of the other ones, I'll show it. All right, next up, we've got their half size box. And again, it just clicks right into place. You have a spot for two half size boxes. This thing can, is only what I can describe as an ammo can. It's got an ammo can seal, so handle up top, but otherwise it's pretty much the same nose step. That's interesting. Uh, and it's got the standard kind of latch and everything else. We flip this up. Oh, look, more flyers. <clears throat> and it has, again, the same universal, uh, you know, tool tray that was, was on the other ones. And it's got some dividers in here. Of course, these are all modular as well. They do come out, the whole thing. In fact, you can just probably lift the whole thing out just like that. There we go. We got some lights on it. You can come down in here, see the bottom. It's the same as the other ones. It's got the rubber gasket. It does not have the metal protection tab up front. It does have the locking point right here. Can we lock it one-handed? Easy, easy enough. We got the, and again, these rails are metal all the way down and they are removable. Now you are gonna need one of the, I think it's one of the security torques. I don't have my eyeballs on right now, so it's kind of hard for me to see. And, and the handle, of course, easily lays flat it's a nice firm handle has some flex to it but it's a solid handle it feels good you got the activator tabs there's your engagement right there on the front and the back all right another one of the half size boxes here is this compact tray now this is one of the ones where i did have problems taking the sticker off i'm gonna have to come back in here i don't want to scratch the plastic this is the only one that does not have that style lock on it and it's strictly because of the size of it. You put it in there, it locks right into place. It's got this little tab right here that releases it. Locked, release, fairly easy to do. Also, this is not like the standard kind of cantilever set lock. This is just a clip in place lock. Again, probably has something to do with the size. You got the full gasket on it, no metal edge on it. You got six cups with a divider tray removable divider piece in between. All right, next up we've got one of the bags. Again, and it's got the same attachment points. 
you can there you see on the bottom so i could just slide it right in and it locks in and again push it over it goes in that position when i lift it up it goes into the ready position and move it to the other side we got a couple a clip point here this one does not have the mounting brackets on the side this is uh this one and the compact one right there are the only ones that do not have that and i'm guessing that's due to size we got a little lanyard style clip there we got a pocket on the side we got another attachment point a velcro pocket open pocket open pocket with tabs on it shoulder strap i'm not a big shoulder strap guy so that's not something i'm going to use inside let me turn the light on all right inside we will show the handle real quick the handle does pivot here if i crank this over here inside we've got pocket on the side pocket down here pocket 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 <laughs> bunch of you know smaller ones on this side this piece not removable it's got a plastic bottom on it good rugged we got a good rugged you know build we got a large pocket on the side again pull this around here this is Get a little tab right oh there we go look at that and then on the back side we got nothing <laughs> nothing back here that's interesting i gotta take that zip tie off there we go get rid of that and the last piece we have here is the milk crate aka tool crate again locks in place just like all the other ones here's the thing though it does have the mounting points on top so you can lock other things on top of this They're, they don't need to sit on anything they lock right into these these little edges right here lock in let me turn the light on so you can see there we go you can see down in here nothing fancy about this it just looks like there's a space for a divider maybe i took that out i don't know uh anyway haven't taken the sticker off on this one but you can see what it is it, in this we got the mounting plates on all four corners Standard, standard milk crate concept just done well tough build style okay well here's one thing i will say so i've got the half the compact uh you know utility one uh the part the you know, compartment one i've got it on top of the ammo can style one and i thought this would be a nice little setup because it kind of acts like a lid and i can open it here's the thing I can't, I can't disengage this while this is on there. That's, now once it's there, I can, but there's not enough clearance. Like I couldn't latch it again. Yeah, I can't. So you can carry it there. You just can't access this while that's on it. And I think that's true of most of these. Like, can I, yeah, like I can't open that while that's attached. I can't open that while well, that's attached. There's some where you could open it, tip the whole stack back to get into it. That you're not gonna be able to do with these. All right, you saw hands-on. Let's jump through some of the features. We covered a lot of these in, in the video, but just to touch base on them again, of course they have the interlocking system. They're all super rugged. Uh, the, uh, they, they have the, uh, the front and rear connection points. It's not just the little yellow latch on it. That's just the activator. The actual uh, connection is at the front and back of the system. But the latch makes it super easy. At a glance, you can look over. Is that attached? Is it locked? It's a three-position position i can talk it's a three position system and i really like that i like knowing whether it's locked whether it's unlocked or ready whether it's ready to lock just at a glance and i also love the fact if you look closely there they've got the torque screws the, their security of course because they don't want you just fiddling around with it too easily but if you have a problem you can break out the box and get in there and uh, you know i'm the box of, of torque bits and stuff uh and you can get in there and you can probably you know you, well, you can clean out anything that's, that's gumming it up and hopefully they're going to have replacement parts so you can fix all that super easy now let's jump through the next ones we talked about the nice big latching systems i really enjoy that about this uh, the side attachment plates, again, they're removable as well. Uh, they're going to have a bunch of accessories. We're going to talk about a bunch of those accessories, but they just
just clip right onto those attachment points. The, the metal lead bar at the front of each one of these. So if you slam it down on something, it doesn't get damaged. It keeps that rigidity, keeps its form over for hopefully for years. IP65 rated. Now the way that works is IP is the rating is the the, the 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 standard the name of the standard, and then you look at the first the first number and the second number. The first one is solids. Six, as far as I can remember, is the top of the line. Basically, we're talking like dust and stuff like this. You can set this thing out in the Nevada desert, high winds, everything else. Ain't nothing getting inside it, okay? That's that's as high as it goes. Now, the five, that's a mid-level water protection, okay? This is not a submersible. You're not going to go see the Titanic in this. This is going to keep rain, all the rain off of this, all right? Sprinkler systems, all that kind of stuff. You're not going to take a pressure washer to this and hope that the pressure washer is going to stay out of the box. It's not, but it, you could put it out in a Montana thunderstorm. It'll be just fine. Now, we got the, uh, you saw all the little cubbies and the modularity and all that kind of stuff inside. Pretty par for the course for, you know, something like this. The handles, I love the handles. Now, they show the handle on the front. The handles are big. The handles are solid. You can really grip them. I really appreciate the side handles. I'm looking over here at the box because, you know, a lot of times when you go to move one of these boxes, you, you don't, you're not always in a position to roll it back and forth and stuff. And I like just being able to grab the side of that whole stack and just drag it sideways if that's what I need to do. And I've had to several times just moving around my shop. All right, we talked about the removable um, handle on the back. If you don't have either a soft top or a hard top, I don't know what you're doing wrong. Now, I, I had a tan out cover for years, and I totally get this. You know, if that's what you got, it makes it easy to lock and store and everything else. Uh, you can then flip those two switches nice and easy, and you take the, the handle off, and now it'll fit underneath your tanno cover. Uh, they're super tough. They're rugged. You got to like that. They have the locking point, the kind of standard, but it's a nice it's a nice rugged one. It's not like a – some of them, they're, they're like you could go up there, you feel like you could twist the lock and break the plastic. Not going to happen on this. Now, let's talk about some of the other boxes that come with it. I'm not going to cover the three basic or the eight basic boxes that we already have here, okay? Here's what's coming out, though. Remember, the release – the release is a is a staggered release. We got the ones that are launching right now. Uh, then there's going to be a spring launch and there's going to be a summer launch next year. So let's talk about what's coming out on those. Okay, this is the XL box. I know it looks a lot like the uh, the the seventy nine dollar box you see right there. It's not the same box. That box is smaller than this one. This is going to be the XL box. It's basically the same size box as the rolling box, just no wheels, all right? This is a big storage box, all right? Next up, we're gonna see the ultra slim compartment. I showed you the compact one. This is gonna be its big brother. Same same height, just all the way across. So rather than being a half box, it's a full box. Next up, we've got <laughs> the half size of the ammo can. I gotta tell you, you know, I, I um, you know, I, I don't like, I don't talk about a lot on the channel because that's not what this channel is about, but I am pretty big in the, um, as we like to call because, you know, YouTube stuff, but in the uh, long distance paper puncher kind of uh, stuff, I have a lot of ammo cans and uh, I could see myself going a bit nutsy uh, with uh, buying these ammo cans. I, and I, I know they're not cheap. Uh, the, the basic one we saw here is $65 considering I can get one for $5, but I just like them that much. Here's the uh, the clear top accessory version of the same thing. And then we've got the half size milk crate. Again, I love that. I love these half size boxes. All right. Uh, and uh, so anyway, let's then talk about also what comes along at that. Now, like I would rate the system as it sets as a B plus because I cannot give a system an A if it doesn't have drawers. But brother, the drawers are coming. That right there is a rolling box, bottom box. It look, you're like, it looks just like the $124 box. It's not. That's not a hinged top. That's one giant drawer on the bottom. And I absolutely love that because the if you have a stack, the the last box you want to try and get into is the bottom box. You, you look over there like, I'm going to have to take this whole thing apart. I'm going to take the whole thing apart just to get into that one piece I have down the bottom. Not with this. You got one large single drawer on the bottom. Here's your standard suitcase box, except it's a single drawer as well. Here's a your large box. I don't know if it's the larger or the extra large, but again, it's a single drawer there. Here we got it. Yeah, yeah. Here's the mid-size box. It's equivalent to the box, the uh, 70 $80 box. Call it what it is. The $80 box we got right here. It's a single drawer box as well. Oh, you want multiple drawers? They got a double drawer box as well. Look at that. 
Uh, and then look at we got the triple drawer, and I love this. I have the double drawer on the Versus Stack box. Now Versus Stack is the, the it's Big Brother the Trade Stack. They're great, but there's times where like these drawers are too big. I got smaller stuff I want to put in there, and I don't want to waste all this space. Well, you got that option here with this one. Again, these are not at launch right now. They're coming. I, I believe these are coming spring of next year. But I mean, if you think the three drawer is still wasting space, we got a four drawer. That's that's insane. Who else is doing that four drawer kind of system like this? I get it. I'm I'm getting a I'm I'm already fanboying about stuff that's not out. I just think they sat down and they committed to such a great system here. I'm just blown away by it. I mean, it came out of left field. No one saw this coming. Uh, this right here, this is an ice pack system. You're like, well, what do you need an ice pack system for? We'll show you. Love the box fan. Boy, this puts the box in box fan, doesn't it? And you look at it. You can put it, it'll lock right into your system. And then when you want to use it, you can pop it out and it pivots and, and everything else. That is a great setup. I can't wait to see that one. Uh, here's the tough built stack. on. This is the cooler. That's where your ice pack goes along with. So there's a, a system in there that will snap into. And this will integrate module. And I love the color coding on this. So you look at it, you're like white, cold, right? Obviously. It just makes sense. Uh, we got They got first aid kits. And this, who is anybody else doing first aid kits? Does Packout have a first aid kit? I'm a huge fan of first aid kits. Uh, well, I was a, a I used to be a CCW instructor uh, for two counties in Central California. Yes, believe it or not, they do that there. And uh, having a first aid kit w is something that uh, is imperative to me. Always having a first aid kit around. Uh, we have them. In, we keep them in the cars when we travel. Always have a good first aid kit on us. And having a kit like this just makes perfect sense. And uh, they uh, look at there's the vacuum system again, fully integrated. It continues the whole locking modularity of everything. Uh, here, look at it. this is the, the, the cool, not cooler, the, the water box. It's got the tap on the front. I mean, you, I guess you could put water in there. I mean, it's yellow. It kind of screams Pilsner to me or lager. What do I know? All right. I believe this is a, a, uh, is this a soft cooler or just a soft cubed bag? I don't remember which one that is. And then we've got the smaller slim line, uh, emergency emergency kit for you know electricians and stuff like that people who, who don't ever really do any real work I'm kidding guys I'm kidding just teasing you <laughs> there's the bigger cooler look at that you got the full-size cooler you do the whole lunch thing it's got the drain plug on the side uh the uh the, these systems are just insane i absolutely love to see them like this uh, so let's, what do we got next? We got uh, bags and uh, I think accessories next. So they got a whole lot. Now, Stack Tech is known, not Stack Tech, but Tough, Tough Built is known for their bag systems. And now they're Tough Built bag Stack Tech systems. So they all lock and integrate with this. There's the, uh, there, look at that bag. That looks like, almost looks like it's leather. I'm sure it's not. Um, again, look at a nice Gator Mouth style bag. I, I realize that's I, I Gator Mouth, I think, is a brand name. It came out. It's the first one I remember from when I was younger. So I just kind of call them all that kind of thing. But they have the basically the reinforced banding in it. So when you open it up, the bag stays open. Uh, nice little backpack kind of thing. Again, something I'm going to send the kids to school in. So they, uh, oh, look at this. Sorry, clip, clips right to your side rails. You got a nice little floodlight there. Work light. We got those are the attachment points for their other bags that clip right on there. Um this right here, I have no clue what those do. Uh, this is the, oh, the drafting light. They call it, a, a, it's an articulated arm light. So like if you have to write down stuff, you can drag it over and it can shine on a work surface, something like that. Here's your uh, your hand tools accessory rack right there. Uh, this is, now this is the bottom and the middle point for attaching longer things like uh, levels or shovels or long handled kind of tools. So the, the, the cup part goes down low. The other part is basically just a circle that goes up higher. Uh, and then, again, something very similar to that for multiple ones. They clip in, like you'd see in a garage system. This is a magnet, just a straight-up magnet, so you can attach whatever you want to it. <laughs> this, Look at this. That is a, ma a magnifying light. That's a ring light magnifier that attaches to your system. Uh, you got And you got molly straps. You know, I, I got a bunch of molly stuff. I uh, can tie right into that. That's awesome there. Uh, and here we got a, an accessory plate. Uh, I think they also have a, a wood one as well. There's your paper towel holder. 
Uh, again, another attachment point for the bag system, uh, a larger one for the, for the sides. So you can go across the front or across the sides. We got some more accessory trays. These are attachment points. You can go all the way, any point on the side, on those edges, and you can attach the bag system that they already have. An articulating phone holder or tablet holder. Uh, this, I, I don't know how this integrates into the system, but it's a, it, you know, we see the tripod work lights, but rather than a tripod, this is a quad pod, I guess. It, it's got four feet and four light brackets up top. I'd love to see that in person. We got, of course, you got to have tumblers. No word in if they lock into it. I don't see anything like that. Love the uh, the wood type work surface. We've seen that for pack out. A lot of people really enjoy that for a portable work surface kind of thing. Now, this is really, they really start getting exciting is in some of the mobility options. This is their dolly system. It can be used upright or it can be used in, in the, down in the, uh, the more of a cart kind of system. Uh, you can see it up close with all the different, you know, uh, units locked into it. Uh, the, uh, th this is something we've seen from a lot of other ones. I think the first time I saw it was in the sustainer system where basically you can just take whatever you want, lock it in, give it four wheels and have it roll around. Uh, and, and this is great if you're working in, and especially if you're working in an area with a finished floor, uh, it's not going to be, you know, not something you're going to want to use if you're outdoors, but if you're in, if you're on concrete or a finished floor somewhere, that's going to allow you to roll around a lot easier. Uh, let's see here. This, wait, I skipped something. No, we talked about this one already. This thing is insane. Now this allegedly is going to be some sort of system and I don't understand how it works. I haven't seen any videos on it, but it allegedly it's going to work. Have you ever seen one of those gurneys like you see in, in hospital or in, like the ER shows with a, where the, um, the ambulance pulls up and they pull the guy out of the back and the front wheels come down. And then as they're pulling them out, the back wheels come down. I'm imagining that that's the same system because the, the claim is they're going to allow you to pull 500 pounds of equipment out of the back of your truck with just by yourself with one guy. Um, and so I'm guessing it's working on a similar levered system like that. I can't wait to see this in action. And on top of that, it's a it's height adjustable once you get it out, which means that you're not going to use it just for transporting stuff around. But now you can use it as a work surface, and they have components that allow you to lock in to put a, a table saw. On. I've seen pictures with a tile saw on it. I can't imagine that you will not be able to also use this as a miter saw stand. Also, I've seen where they take there with the wood accessories, they put it across the top. Now you have an entire workbench. That's that's amazing. And there you can see the the articulation as it goes in. I, I really want to see a video of this. Here you can see the the long handle accessory on the uh, on the dolly system. Here, uh, there's the dolly system in and of itself. Uh, again, we got a lot to go through. Look at this. Now this you're like, where does this attach? This doesn't go on the box. This goes either in your shop or even in a van, all right? This right here is a two-point receiver hitch attachment. So the back of your truck, the back of your van, heck, your Honda Civic, if you want to put one on there, you can turn anything into a work vehicle by just attaching this. And now you've got four attachment points, which means you've got, you can put two full-size boxes uh, right next to each other and connect them. There you go. There's your inside your work van kind of setup. That is clean really really clean all right and there you go with it that's the one i'm really excited about i'd love uh, you know i i would use that all the time all the time now let's talk about this because this right here is a, you know you see the box system and you just kind of skip me like oh it fits in with your other. that whole wall is all tough built down to the stool that's tough built so there's a tough built cabinets tough built shelving the tough built, uh, you know, under counter, uh, you know, uh, cabinet there. Everything there you see has the tough built brand on it. These are all things they're planning to come out with. That is an insane system. Look at that stool there. I don't know if that looks like the most comfortable thing in the world, but I'm, I'm sure it is. But anyway, the, I, I love that workbench. That just looks amazing. I love that. Like, and you got the overhead storage. You got everything there. You got, look on the far end on the left side, you got small compartment storage, all sorts of stuff. This is a truly thought out system that they're building here. 
They, there's just no two ways about it. Now let's talk about the uh, the boxes, the the deals going on, the availability, and all of that. So this is the first first phase, first launch of the system. It's at Lowe's and it starts today. Sales starts today. They're doing a buy more, save more kind of thing. And here's what the deal is going to be. And here, let me show you. Let me pull it up. I had it on the side over there before, but let me pull the whole thing up here. So basically, if you buy the three, the three main boxes, your standard tower, if you would, you're looking at 125 plus 80 plus 65 you're, then you're going to take uh, $70 off of that. It's going to come down to $199. So basically, you know, just under, you know, 200 bucks there for the, uh, for the standard tower system. Now, if you spend more, you save more. You spend less. If you say, spend $149, you save $30. $249, you save $70. $349, you save $100. So all the, that basic kind of stuff. We, we've all seen this over at Lowe's. So it, it's all pretty much the same kind of thing, right? So there's the, the mid box. Uh, it, they call it the, I think they call it the large as opposed to the extra large, which we, is coming out on next spring or summer. Anyway, that's $80 standard. You're looking at 65 for the suitcase style box. You're looking at $50 for the milk crate. You're looking at 60 for the, the large, uh, ex accessory, small parts organizer box, the, the metal lockable toolbox, AKA ammo box there's 65. Now this is all just the straight list prices, not including the buy more, save more kind of discount. The small parts organizer is $28. And my wife likes to call them the, what do you call those? The sna snackle, boxes. snackle boxes. That's what she calls them. The tough built, uh, the, the bag there, the tool tote, you're coming in at 90 bucks. Again, you you, it just makes sense to, you know, buy what you want now and, you know, stack up the savings if you will, you know, pardon the pun. Now, comparatively speaking, what are we looking at now? I'm talking non-sale price to non-sale price. If you bought, I, let me go back and look at this. You're looking at 124 for that. You're adding 80 in on that. So you're at what, two, 205 there. Uh, and then plus that you're at 270. Is that right? 124 plus 65 plus what do we have plus 80. So non-sale is 270. You're at 270. Um, and uh, so that's non-sale price. I just yeah, yeah, it's going to be on sale right now for one ninety nine. But I'm, I want to compare apples to apples. And the packout system, it, when it used to go on sale, this box used to go on sale for two hundred dollars. But we haven't seen that on a Black Friday in years. What we've seen is the bottom box, uh, the the I think the middle box and the milk crate is what we've seen instead. Uh, but anyway, right now you're looking at three hundred nine. So this is cheaper than the packout system. It's slightly more expensive than the DeWalt's Tough system. Now, the Tough system is interesting because they've recently come out with an adapter plate that lets you use the T-Stack system with it. Of course, that's compatible with also with the Versa Stack system. Uh, so it, there's a lot of choices in that system there. But, you know, you have to decide, like, you know, I mean, if you're in DeWalt, you can go either way with it because either way you're looking black and yellow. <laughs> so you're kind of covered in that, in that case. Uh, the other option is the new flex system and the, and the new flex system seems to be fantastic. It looks great. A lot of great design. They're coming, they're really expanding it. But when you look at price and stuff on it, you're looking at $300 there for the basic, uh, you know, flex system. So they're coming in under, under uh pack out. They're coming in under flex. They're at or right around the same price as the DeWalt. Now, the new kit on the black for the professional boxes is Klein Mod Box, but they don't have like a huge system or anything else. $320 right now. Yeah, it's kind of hard to compare them to that. Well, there you go. If you got any questions, put them down below. One thing that's been really nice is that Tough Built has kept communications open with me. A lot of times when you talk to these companies, they just kind of like, oh, yeah, here you go, boom, and then they just disappear and you never hear from them again. Uh, you know, trying to talk to anybody over at Stanley Black & Decker is like pulling teeth. So luck luckily, we've got somebody who contacted Tough Build. If you've got any questions, you don't feel like I've, I've given you answers for, and I think we can get answers for it, I'll be happy to pass them along. So put it down in the comments and let me know what you think about this system. Uh, I know some of you were hoping it would come in pretty cheap, you know, a lot cheaper than this. But for what you're getting, this is a professional-grade system. And it's coming in at or below most of the professional-grade boxes. I'm pretty stoked about it. Again, 
you know, will they come out with the drawers? Well, a lot of other systems, if they if they came out and said, oh, and we, here's what we got now, and we're going to come out with drawers later, I'd be a little bit hesitant. But Tough Build just keeps, they, they just keep delivering and, and coming out with really cool stuff. So I feel fairly confident that they're going to hit their mark, at least for what we've shown here as far as the systems. The the, the launch, you know, in 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 fourth quarter here uh, in 2023 and then 2024, I think we're going to see uh, a spring and a summer release. And again, I'm pretty stoked about it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to, you know, chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on your way out, do the whole YouTube dance. You know how it goes. Anyway, that's all we got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.